your girl did i'm back with another youtube video and we're gonna be reviewing beyonce listen now i heard this version but i just wanted to you know hear it again and stuff like that so uh yeah make sure you show your decent love hit that like button and still subscribe and peace let's get it listen to the song here in my heart I start but can't complete Listen to the sound from deep within It's only beginning to find release Oh, the time has come for my dreams to be heard Pushed aside or turned into your own All cause you won't listen You better growl, girl. You better growl. You better sing. <clears throat> man, I'm just so pumped every time I hear this version. Like, man, like she sung the, the hell out this song. For real, for real. And <clears throat> if some people don't know, this song is from the movie uh, Dream Girls, which is featuring Beyonce, uh, Jennifer Hudson, and I think her name is Anita. I, I don't want to uh, get it wrong. And, um, somebody else that's an uh, actress too, I forgot her name, but, um, and Jamie Foxx and Eddie Murphy, you know, so, uh, if people wondering where this song came from, it came from that movie, Dream Girls. So, um, Dream, so the movie Dream Girls is, is really a spinoff of Dream Girls The Play, which is, um, expired, it, it is expired by, uh, the... Um, theater version of Dream Girls, which was featuring uh, Jennifer Holiday. She's uh, she's the girl that uh, made the original song that uh, Jennifer Hudson sung in the movie. I am telling you, uh, I uh, I am. Yeah, I am telling you. That's what it's called. Yeah. So uh, she's the one that made that uh, original version that Jennifer Hudson. Uh, song in the movie dream girls and um beyonce song uh i guess that's just something that she sung in the movie you know as her own and you know wrote in and stuff like that and uh, i think it's on one of her albums maybe i'm not quite sure but um yeah that's where this song came from so um yeah let's get into it Okay, 
okay, so that's the end of the song, you guys. And, um, yeah, she looks very stunning, um, uh, in this video. Um, I wish she would wear her hair, her real hair more, uh, now, like she used to, you know, uh, in the younger days, you know, when she first, like, came into the industry and stuff. I want her to wear her real hair, uh, uh again and stuff like that. She looks stunning in this performance. Uh, I like the dress that she wore. Uh, the lipstick, the uh, earrings and stuff, just very uh, classic, chic look, you know, not too much going on, but just a natural look too, you know, at the same time. And I could tell that Jamie Foxx uh, was blown away because he started kind of like rolling his eyes or whatever, it was like, was like, whoa, like, you know, Beyonce is the real deal type, right? So, um, yeah, uh, Oprah Winfrey, she was blown away too, you know, and just to have the cast there that was, you know, to support her and stuff like that, that was, um, really good too, you know, uh, to see that, and then, you know, how the audience was cheering for her and stuff like that, so, just all the love in the room that day, you know, when she performed that song, it was just, you know, really amazing to, you know, see, and, um, yeah, I heard this, like, the best version of, uh, listen uh in my opinion i would have to you know agree because it's like i don't think i have i won't say i don't think but i haven't seen a version that's um listen you know i haven't seen a version that's a beyonce version where she's singing listen listen and stuff like that so um yeah like this is the only version like i you know have you know looked up and uh listened to you know so uh, i like this version and i would have to probably agree this is the best version now if it's another version of her singing listen uh just comment down below and you know tell me what version it is and maybe i'll react to it and stuff like that and, um yeah so um make sure you get decent love hit that like button and so subscribe and um yeah beyonce just out here doing her thing and i just like the fact that she's so you know different especially when it comes to you know our culture you know how she just makes things you know different now you know and uh just being more different and uh you know good example too you know because she's always been a good example you know but it's like you know, I love the fact that she has her own little clothing line, too. It's called uh, Ivy Park. And, uh, I believe it's named after her daughter, uh, Blue Ivy. That's why she titled it uh, Ivy Park. And uh, I'll, you know, look on the website or whatever. Or she have, like, a campaign for it. And she got, like, a lot of good stuff on that, too. You know, a lot of different stuff that you just wouldn't normally see, you know, people wear, right? You know, so, um, that's really good, you know, and she's just doing big things and stuff like that, you know, and to have a career for over, you know, 20 some years, it's like, ain't nothing greater than you feeling that you succeeded in something, you know, so, um, just her, Destiny's Child, like, everybody succeeded, you know, and that's the best part about it, you know, is knowing that, you love doing what you're doing, even the girls in Destiny's Child, just everybody individually knowing that you love to do what it is that you're doing, and you do it every day, and knowing that um, you're doing it to the best of your ability, not everybody perfect, but knowing that you're doing it to the best of your ability, and that you love what it is that you do, can't nobody, you know, take that away from you, you know, because you got people out here right now today that don't even like to be famous, don't even like to, you know, be a singer or a rapper and they famous and stuff like that. And it's like, you got a lot of talent out here of people who always wanted that, you know, who always wanted to sing, who always wanted to rap and, you know, do all these different things. And it's like, they not heard, you know? So it's like, uh, a lot of people who is famous or anything, they take the fame, they take it for granted because it's like you sit here and got all these people, you know, cheering for you and stuff like that. And it's like, you don't like it or, you know, you may not want it, you know, and everybody not built for uh, the industry. Everybody not built for that, you know, so I understand that part too, you know, and um, I'm just so proud of her, you know, that she's had a successful career as a solo artist and being in a group, you know, just as well as the other girls in Destiny's Child, so, um, I like this performance, it was really good, it was nothing bad about it, and, uh, I'll watch it over and over again, you know, so, um, yeah, make sure you check out decent love, hit that like button, and subscribe, and, yeah, we out, <laughs> peace. <laughs>